Hey guys, Tony here from XLA.com and today I'm holding here is the E-Razor 450. Right now we're walking to our flight or our test flight area to see how this little bird goes. I did get a few uh, quick hops inside the warehouse to see how this uh, baby flies and basically the tracking was dead on out of the box. Uh, the gain was uh, pretty much dead on. Uh, the main shaft and the tail shaft actually comes grease out of the factory so I was pretty surprised you know, of the quality. And I checked all the screws for um, Loctite and everything was all secure. And um, now I'm gonna take it up for you guys and uh, so you guys can see how she goes. Uh, it's, the wind today is about 10 or 10 to 15 miles an hour, so it's not too calm. So uh, if for some reason the, the you know like the helicopter doesn't look too stable, it's not me, guys. It's the wind, all right. <laughs> so let's go uh, try it out. Well, let me show you guys a few quick uh, little details about the the e Razor 450. The tail case is pretty different. The the way it's laid out, you know, it's a different design than what I saw. You know, it's like a whole tail case. You know, it's full metal tail grips, full metal tail case. Oh, canopy's about to fly away. And the head's all blinged out. It's like an anodized, uh, like a dark bronze, brownish, kind of grayish color, which is very cool. The fly bar carrier is like all beefed up, you know, I like it. The anti-rotation uh, bracket is metal. So uh, let's uh, plug it in and see how she goes. And when you guys plug in the, uh, the battery, you should always wait for the LED right here to turn from red to blue, and that means you're ready to move the helicopter. Plug this in. Clamp. Clamp. All right, let's do a quick uh, hop up, see how she flies. Very smooth, I like it. And as you can see in uh, mid stick, the, in idle mode, the power only increased at mid stick by like 10%, so it's probably like 60% throttle, mid stick. And it'll rev up when I when I increase the uh, full positive. The flight wasn't too long because I wasn't sure how long she flies, but uh, basically that was like 
like the first flight I took, like the first real flight I took outside, besides just, you know, like a, like a quick few hops inside the house. So uh, now we're gonna go back to our little uh, studio and uh, I'm gonna tell you guys what I think about the E-Razor 450. Let's uh, turn this off real quick, guys. Alrighty guys, we're back here in our studio and uh, as you guys see from the flight review, I was uh, pretty impressed with the way the uh, E-Razor 450 flew. It flew really, really solid, guys. Doing four flight, you know, it just tracked dead on. There was none of that pitch up, pitch, uh, you know, pitch up, pitch down, any kind of movement. It just went straight where I pointed it, and flips are really smooth. And I was, and I was surprised when I got back. I just noticed I have the weights all the way out on a fly bar. And usually with every helicopter I fly, I always move the weights in, and even with the weights out, and uh, it flips really. Uh, well, it didn't flip crazy fast, but it was fast enough for me to do like flips 10 feet off the ground, as, as you saw in the video. Um, besides that, I like this helicopter. The remote has some pretty cool features, like the uh, you can lock the switch on the remote, so if you're walking out to the field or something, guys, and you actually bump the little knobs or anything, like something like that, the pitch would not change or anything. One thing I don't like about the remote is there's no throttle hold on the remote. But um, besides that, it has you know a little LCD screen that tells you uh, how many volts you have left in your transmitter which is a pretty cool feature, so you don't have to worry about, you know, like flying on low batteries because it tells you how many volts you have in your transmitter. This alarm should go below like 9.6 or 10 volts, you should be good. Um, so that's the remote. Oh, and also, as you guys saw in the video, just like my, uh, some of the other helicopters that I've flown, mid-stick, the throttle wasn't really that high. So, uh, it, like you guys can see in the video, like the motor would kind of speed up and, you know, slow down when I was flipping it, but uh, besides that, I guess the the designer or the way it was programmed from the factory was uh, the uh, the E-Razor 450 was meant for more of like a basic aerobatic flights, you know, like uh, flips, rolls, and loops here and there for like uh, circuits. So uh, so you guys don't expect any uh, hardcore 3D with this remote unless you uh, change the mid range for the throttle. But um, other than that, I like this helicopter. It's really smooth and stable, and um. The gain is not adjustable by the remote, so if you, to, uh, to adjust the gain, you have to come back with the flight head screwdriver and adjust the gain on the gyro itself. Um, let's see, anything else? Oh, and after the uh, flight, guys, uh, I took off the canopy, and I was really surprised. The battery and the, and the motor, it was like not even warm. It was just like air temperature, so I, I like it. And I probably could have got about another few, uh, few more minutes of flight time with the E-Razor 450. But uh, you know, it's the first flight. I didn't want to push the battery too hard because I wasn't sure how long it will fly. But um, really smooth and stable. You know, the metal head flies really nice. It's got a fully uh, metal tail. I like it. Um, besides that, guys, that's my little short review of the E-Razor 450.